I'm giving you guys another update because I want to make sure that you guys know this. In the end of June, the 2020 winners are going to find out what their fate is. It's going to be around June 25th that the lawyers and lawsuits are going to come out and they're going to declare the uh, end to the questions about the 2020 lottery. Lottery winners, 2021, it is in trouble. I don't care if you have a low number, be very careful. The numbers are at 2077 and low 2000s. I suggest you get on one of the lawsuits. There are several of them. I will post the one from Curtis Morrison. You don't have to pay until you actually get here, but it is a mess because what's gonna happen is they're going to be interviewing the 2020 winners and at one point, you guys know this, in September, if this is still going on, there could be 2020, 2021, and 2022 all being interviewed at the same time. This is going to be a delay for probably one more year. Most likely, the 2022 winners are in trouble as well. There's nothing for you to do right now if you're a 2022 winner. I want you to understand that you're a lot, you are being delayed too. All of this is coming from the Trump bans that were instituted last year that stopped the lottery. And what it did, it was backed up the lottery. It backed up all of the lottery winners. So basically what happened was all the 2020 winners got messed up. Then the 2021 got delayed because there was a ban. Now 2022 is most likely gonna be affected too. No one told you yet. I'm telling you, 2022 is gonna be in trouble. Wait for it, okay? I feel sad for all of you, but I need you to know I don't want you to be waiting and then think everything's okay because it's not okay, right? It's easier for you to understand if it's not okay. So while, while we're getting ready to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a little Chef Wad Wan. This is a rye singer that I actually know from Iran. His name is Chef Wad Wan. Are you heading? I will go ahead and post the links for 2021 at the top of this. If you are a 2020 winner, again, I am coming back with information on 2020. If you know anyone that failed the 2020 and they had a kind of a reasonably low number, they have, still have a good chance of getting through this lawsuit. But it is very important that you guys tell everybody that the 2021 winner, that 2021 is in trouble. I cannot reach them all. The lawsuit is closing in three or four days. I am trying to tell as many people as possible. If you are a 2022 winner, please listen to me and listen to me good. I will help you find sponsors, but right now my priority is 2021, okay? Because they are still interviewing. So I need you to understand that when you ask me for a sponsor 50 times, the 2021 people are still interviewing. We've got to get them through. And when 2020 starts, they're going to start needing help. I know this is too much on the community. I know you guys are depressed. I know you guys don't want to deal with this. But this is where the push, you know, remember Battle uh, d'Algerie and all the Algerian wars and all the stuff that Algerians went through? This is Fatima in summertime. This is Amarush time. This is come on and fight for your people time. And you know what? My love for Algerians is strong enough to go without sleep to make sure you guys are taken care of. So I want you to be strong. I want you to know that we got this. And I know it's a hard time. Hi, Hashem Nemer. I'm talking about the 2021 winner being in trouble. The 2021 winners are in trouble. I'm going to be posting the lawsuit above it. So if you know a 2021 winner, you don't have to pay until you come. They know they're only doing that for Africans, people in Africa. The Algerians, Moroccans, they're letting them wait, okay? All the Africans, because they know they don't have many. We're trying to get everybody on board because we do not know. Right now they're showing the numbers as current. They are not current. The number is 2,077. Last week, one of my people was 2,077 and we are in May. That means that if the numbers keep going like they're going, we may not even hit 5,000. It is a disaster, okay? I need you to know that. I need you to tell as many people this. I know it's boring to talk about this stuff. I know you're tired. You don't want to help people. You don't want to give people information. I know that. I feel you. I get that. I know that. But I am here to make sure the Algerians are safe. I will go ahead and post this. Share this link on your page. Post it in Arabic. 
that all 2021 winners, and you can please open it up and read it, and you will see that they're not charging the Americans, the, um, the Algerians. They're not charging them up front. So I am trying to make sure that you guys get as much information. Now, I do want you guys to know that right now, everything I'm doing is for these lottery winners. I am not sleeping. I'm sleeping three or four hours a night. I'm trying to get as many of you guys through because when these doors close, there will not be another door that opens. It will just be wait for the death. Do you understand what I'm saying? And 2020 is coming. They know that they have to start interviewing 2020 winners. If they have already said they have to interview 6,000 of them. So out of those people, that means that several hundred Algerians from 2020, even without the lawsuit, are coming through. So just expect everything and anything. Expect crazy, crazy, crazy times all of this is stemming from the Trump administration's three bans that essentially destroyed the 2020 lottery, destroyed the 2021 lottery, and most likely will affect the 2022 lottery. So what you guys need to do is you need to make sure that you tell every friend of yours, try to share, I'm sorry, Agua, I know I'm, I love you guys. That's my name, Amarusha. Ah! Anyway, so, you know, a lot of people ask me, are you Algerian? I'm like, no, I'm not Algerian. I just have Algerian friends and they're all crazy. I don't know any normal Algerians. My friends are all really crazy. So, and I have friends with everybody. I've got friends in Kabylia. I've got friends in Mozabai. I got friends in Tlemcen. I got friends in Benisa. I got friends in Batna, Skikda, Hanchla. Everywhere I go, there's an Algerian that I know because I helped a lot of people. But you know, I have fun doing this, but in all seriousness, we have to do better, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna post this thing. What I need you guys to do is I need you to share it, please. And if you know anybody who needs an address, I am glad to help. Please do not tell them you cannot help them. Tell them and give them my information. I will be glad to help them. I am not telling people that I cannot help. If you don't wanna help or you can't help because you live someplace and you're moving, let's not leave any of these Algerians behind because we need to make sure as many of them get through. Because you know what? When you guys build the community in three or four years after you've built the community very, very strong, there won't be a Kathleen. You guys will be fine because you guys will have a bigger, bigger, bigger community. You want more Algerians to come here because the more Algerians that come here, the better for all of you. Even if there's problems, it doesn't matter. Be brave. And just to let you know, this is my 20th anniversary with Algerians. Back in May of 2001, I was in a place called Rue de République, Jacques Monsargent in Paris. I was in a hotel called Hotel Albui, and I wanted to get a cup of coffee. I went downstairs, and there was this guy staring at me. He thought I was Algerian, and he started being blah, 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 blah. He was not speaking Arabic. He was a Kabyl. I got to meet my first friends from Algeria that were from Beni Yani, and then when I got back to America, I met Kabyls from from Bourmades, from Finia and Zamori, and I started making friends with Algerians. I got to meet them. Actually, the first Algerians I ever met were Kabyles. I actually didn't understand like the whole stuff. That, I didn't know very much about Algeria. I mean, I understood what was in books, but I really didn't know it. So I have been friends with Algerians since May of 2001, and I am still friends with some of the people that I knew back in 2001. If you can imagine, I have actually met them. I've met some of the people that I've known. And I am going to be going someplace. I'm either going to be going, I have not figured out where I'm going, but I may be going to Kansas, I may be going to California, I may not tell you guys where I am, I may just walk around and you're gonna go, what a minute, Kathleen's walking around, what's she doing? So I like to have fun with you guys. You know, I have a lot of time, obviously you guys know, I have a single mom and I have a lot of time to be crazy. But I wanna go ahead and close this out with a mix down of Shepard Juan, my friend from Oran, Algeria. Hi, Walmuz. How you doing? This is Walmuz. He's one of the bravest Algerians I've ever met. He's helped so many people. I am talking about Lottery 2021 being in trouble. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you. 
if you can help share the information about the lawsuit. Take care, everybody.